Luxury, according to Google, is a state of great comfort or elegance, especially when involving great expense. A description then that perfectly fits this updated Audi A8L. However, what's also a big part of luxury, apart from all the flash and jazz, of course, is personal space. You know, something like a private table at a nightclub, a private suite with a butler, and business class seats on an airplane that isolate you from the commoners. This is that very place in the Audi A8L, the boss seat. Now this Audi A8L is just a facelift, it's not an all new model, so we've seen this layout before, we've seen the cabin, we've seen the screens, we've seen all this stuff, so there's nothing really new about it, but the direct comparison has always been with the S-Class, and that is where these two divide opinion, because where the S-Class takes a more traditional route in sense of luxury, you know, everything is very opulent and grand in the cabin, this has a more modern take where less is more, you know, minimalistic, is what Audi has gone for and that definitely works in its case. And I'll tell you why it works, because a lot of buyers in this segment already have the glitz and glamour that they need. They have opulence everywhere else in their life. So when it comes to the car, they don't mind a bit of subtlety and that is where the A8 absolutely excels because even though you don't get a lot to see here, you know, there's not that wow factor that you get in the S-Class when you immediately sit in the cabin. There is absolutely everything you'd expect of a luxurious car, you know, the amount of sophistication to the cabin, the quality of the materials, the build overall, you have these lovely wood panels, there's ambient lighting that does the job perfectly, panoramic sunroof, you have this lovely switch gear, a lot of aluminum, a lot of piano black, so yeah, it definitely has that luxe appeal, it definitely feels premium and it definitely feels expensive. Obviously, the boss seat is the place to be when you're in the A8L. All the, of the owners would love to sit here and why not? You get so much at the tip of your hand. This little controller right here controls everything from the blinds, the lights, ambient lighting, media, the whole shebang. You also have these two screens that offer Netflix support. So yeah, there is plenty to do back here. But the highlight has to be this little switch right here. Press this and the whole car turns into something completely different. Never in my whole career have had so much space in a car because the front seat goes all the way ahead, the back seat reclines, you now suddenly have acres of leg room, room to stretch. This beautiful footrest comes down and you can just make sure that your feet are clean and stretch all the way forward. You can also, after that, get this seat ahead, recline a bit, and really find the most comfortable place you've ever had in a car. Yes, I know the S-Class also has this. You get a little bit of a footboard down there, but this is really something else. You know, you get massage functions down here for your feet. You have massage functions for the seat as well. You have cool seats, individual climate control. So this space right here is all yours. You can completely be in your zone and that is the big, big highlight of the A8. And if you think that's not enough and you need to jazz it up a bit more or add to the exclusivity, then you also have 55 exterior colors, 8 interior colors and 7 options in wooden inlays to choose from. So pretty safe to say that it is rather unlikely to have two A8Ls that are alike. Now obviously any car that has so much room in the back is a win in my books. I've rarely sat in cars where my shoes are off, my feet are rested and I am getting massaged. However, it's not just the space, you know, that makes all the difference. A lot, and I mean a lot of that, has to do with the suspension and the overall ride comfort. The ride is really supple, it soaks up the bumps really well and you have predictive active suspension which means the car basically scans the road ahead and sets up the suspension already before you reach that bump or that undulation, so you barely feel anything inside. The car remains flat and composed through the slightest change in elevation or camber of the road and stability at high speeds is excellent. So all the high-tech witchcraft is worth the extra you spend. But of course there will be times where your chauffeur would take a leave, you will have to pilot this thing and when you are in that seat, you will not really be completely disappointed because even though this feels like a big boat to drive, 
it does pack a bit of a punch. Now to a lot of prospective AATL buyers, this part of the review might seem a bit pointless because when are you ever going to be in this seat given what the back seat is like? But to be honest, the AATL has always managed to strike a nice balance between driving dynamics and back seat comfort. And this updated model is no different because even though it feels like a big car that you're driving, you know, it doesn't shrink around you, it's big, it's heavy you still have a decent amount of poke because of what's under the bonnet, a 3-litre V6 with 340 horsepower and 500 Nm. Now, of course, performance numbers don't mean a lot to a car in this segment, so I'm not really going to get into that. But when you push your foot down, the response is a bit delayed, but it is there. You know, the car will lunge ahead after a brief pause and the 8-speed automatic gearbox obviously is quick as well. 0 to 100 kph is probably the most useless statistic here, but the fact that it takes only 5.7 seconds is impressive. What is a bit strange is the lack of any ADAS features, especially since it is available in certain countries. However, a worthy addition is the rear wheel steering. It does make a big difference in day-to-day -day driving and for things like parking and making U-turns when your chauffeur is on leave. But on those days that he is around and you're busy lounging in the back seat, make sure to tell him one thing. Keep the screen on the drive select function because the one thing that you absolutely need with the AATL is the race function. Now, the very good thing about it is that the car raises up really quickly and that means you don't waste too much time. But the fact that you have to do it every single time is a bit of a downer. And to be honest, it will keep your chauffeur quite busy. This makes it imperative for you to select the optional predictive active suspension package. However, just like the headlamps, it too comes at a price, 15 lakh rupees to be precise. The predictive suspension also scans the road ahead with a camera and can raise the suspension by figuring out a speed bump. And you still have to be very careful. But a neat trick the AATL has, especially with the predictive active suspension package, is that once you open the door, the car automatically rises up swiftly to help with egress and ingress. Now, like I said, the interior of the AATL might not have the flash and bang of the S-Class, but it has that beautiful level of minimalism and subtlety that owners absolutely love. And by that logic, the cabin in here is absolutely fantastic. You get the best of what Audi has to offer, the dual screen layout, you have the virtual cockpit, a lot of information, a lot of tech hidden in here, ambient lighting doing its job very well, and overall the quality and fit finish is something that is absolutely incredible. It is something that you will notice very easily and even though you don't have all those blingy materials like you do on the S, it still feels top-notch luxury stuff. And since everything on here is so bang on, it is completely worth the price it commands. On the outside, not much has changed from the previous version, but it has certainly made up ground for the lack of jazz. There is a new grille blingy enough for most wrappers and sharp digital matrix headlights that will impress most scientists. But then again, they have to be impressive since they are a 10 lakh rupee optional extra. The digital matrix headlamps are not only fantastic in terms of illumination, but are also equipped with intelligent features. Add to that features like orientation light, which basically acts as a carpet of light in your lane that is brighter and better illuminated. They also adjust the LEDs in a way where the lights detect oncoming traffic and adjust the beam so as to not blind the driver. It is all superbly clever and extremely seamlessly integrated. And of course, if you want to show off a bit, there are multiple dynamic coming home and leaving home functions that are sure to bring out a few gasps from your friends. Over to the side, the 19-inch wheels aren't as flashy and dramatic as the light show, but fit the car well. And OLED lighting at the rear, again an optional extra, is well versed with Audi's dancing tricks. So have the updates actually updated the AATL? Well, not in a huge way, but that's just fine. After all, it's just a facelift and not a generational change. But it always had the basics in place and that hasn't changed. The rear seat comfort is all but flawless. You have all the features you'd want back here. The ride is superb, the build of the cabin is just stellar 
and the design now thanks to the chrome treatment has that typical big expensive car look. It might have swapped its sharp black suit for a designer jacket but inside it is still the classy introvert that never puts a foot wrong.